series of portraits of uh, top icons from the art world. Uh, let's say the famous the big players, uh, big artist names, uh, big collectors, uh, big gallerists. Uh, um, and what I've done is I've, uh, I do their portraits and then I give to the audience uh, markers, magic markers, and they can uh, start writing or drawing on the portraits or whatever they feel like they want to do. Uh, later on in the stage, we give them uh, paint bombs. Finally, uh, I take out a blowtorch and I burn them. It's actually finished when it's destroyed, when it looks, you know, like a pfft, like this. You know, it becomes nicer, actually, I think. It is allowing new work to happen, particularly in the area of time-based work. Now, however one defines that, and we have a very broad definition, because I think that, in a sense, all art is time-based. One way of looking at it is the time base is now. And what better than now are people coming, responding to a different situation and working there, and then showing their work. When I was going through my work, um, when I was being invited for this residency, what could be a good theme between my work and the residency? So I decided, for example, showing this one wall piece on the back and the title for the work is called After Conversation and for me I thought the residency program is mostly about a conversation and the cultural exchange and that the art maybe is the conversation and for me that was the most important thing during this residency I think um, communicating with the people and the space and the culture of Stettin. It's incredibly ambitious in its range of history. It's, I mean, it's talking about modernity, colonialism, um, you know, the birth and death of communism, the birth and death of capitalism. You know, you can see it in a number of works in this collection. And then intimate things, you know, identity, particularly female identity, but not exclusively so. And I think it's a really great installation. Very, very good. And it uses this building in a magical way. We did this thresholds exhibition and performance in our institute called Collegium Ungaricum Berlin. And after it just came out that we can bring all this exhibition to Poland. And I was very happy because, um, because I'm from Hungary, I'm an East European. And it's really interesting to come back to East Europe and to bring here not just the international artists. Our part is more like the Hungarian artists. We have some young artists here, but we have some uh, classic artists from the history of video arts, time-based arts from Hungary. It's not made with any other interest. There's no ideological twist on it. There's no religious twist on it. There's no commercial twist on it whatsoever. It's just people trying to make good art.